Yo, what up suspects? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys around this 120D that we've had on the market for some time now. This car is packed with the M Sport package which consists of the sport front bumper which came on the 135s and stuff. The M Sport side skirts as well as the M Sport rear bumper. This particular car actually has the style 313 wheels as well. Original BMW 19 inch wheels. They came on the 335s and stuff like that as an optional extra. Looks really great on this car. It makes it look completely different compared to the other one series. So. This car being a facelift, it comes with the nice tail lights. I think they call the black line tail lights or the LED tail lights. This particular car has a M performance diffuser as well. I'm not sure if you guys can see the difference. I'll put a picture of a normal bumper in this one here so you guys can compare it as well. I know it has two pipes coming out the side, but it is a diesel. They just made it look like a 135 exhaust. So for the inside guys, this car is packed with the red interior. Tell me what you guys think about it. I think it makes this car look super hot, especially with the white exterior. So when you jump inside this car, you'll notice it's way more driver focused. There's not really a lot of controls or anything like that. No screens or anything fancy. It's just you and your six-speed gearbox, which I personally love. I prefer the six-speed manual over the automatic. Both are great options though, but yeah, I'm just the manual guy, you know, three pedals for the wheel. Wait a minute. So for the motor guys, I'm sure you guys know already, this car is specced with the N47 motor. I personally think it's one of BM's best motors. You know, you can clock a high mileage with these cars. I've clocked a lot of mileage with N47 motors before. And yeah, just personally one of my favorite motors. So you guys saw the exhaust tips, but it's not just for show. It has a straight pipe as well, all the way from the down pipe, all the way to the rear. So yeah. Okay, but enough of me talking. Let's take this car for a drive. So with this car, you have the best of both worlds because you have the sportiness of a coupe being low down, two doors, and you still have a two-liter diesel with great consumption and great drivability for every day. This being an M Sport model, you know, the steering is way tighter. It's more controlled, more agile. Um, it's got a stiffer suspension and, of course, the six-speed gearbox, which feels amazing. The, the clutch on this car is also apparently brand new, so it's still smooth, still like butter. Yeah, so this, like I said guys, this car does have a straight pipe. It isn't tuned however, so, but we'll do a few pulls for you guys and you guys can let us know how it sounds or what you guys think. So what do you guys think? 155,000 Ks on the clock, but I mean, it still moves like a dream. You know, all cars have their problems, you know guys, this car does have its fair share of issues, which I will disclose with you guys. But just from seeing inside, you guys can see that the dashboard, I'm not sure if it was recovered or what. You know, there is a few lights up on the dashboard, I mean on the cluster. This car does have some issues that need to be solved, like I said. The, the headlight bulbs need to be sorted. The paintwork isn't really the best, um, you can see the car, was sitting outside for a while, you know, it's fading quite a bit. Besides that, the car does need rear tires. Like I said, it is 19 inch wheels. I showed you guys the dashboard and stuff like that. 
but yeah the car drives really nice you know it just rubs a little bit as you can see you know this fender is taking a bit of a beating from the the wide wheels but this car is priced quite competitively compared to other models like it on the market you know a car in this spec in a very good condition will set you back easily 180k but this car here the specific one is being marketed for 125,000 negotiable so i'll drop all the links in the description below but let us know what you guys think is this car priced well should it be cheaper would you guys be interested in buying something like this and if this is the type of content that you like that you guys like to see let us know in the comments and be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video